Hey guys, it's me again and I'm going to show you how to make Windows XP faster on your computer and your virtual machine. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to take the icons that are on your desktop and you want to go ahead and remove them by simply dragging them to the recycle bin. Then you want to right click and you want to go to empty recycle bin and when you come up with a confirmation message you want to hit, hit yes the second thing now we're going to do is disable visual effects you want to go to start right click my computer go to properties and you want to go to where it says advanced Go to performance, look where it says settings, you want to go to adjust for best performance, click custom, and you want to select the last four. This will make windows still look a little bit of attractive if you use the last four. If you don't want the last four, it's going to adjust your theme back to the windows classic theme. It's going to take like about a minute to apply, which I'm going to be showing you into the video. While it's going, you know, please wait box is going to come up. But if you're not real big on the Zoom th on the classic theme, you can always go back to your desired theme and display properties. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my desired theme. Now the third thing you want to do is run CCleaner. It's a free program. It's open source. You can get it from the PRFORM website. I ain't going to update it because we're, we're doing a video right now. But the first thing you want to do is go to Analyze. I'm going to go ahead and pause while that's going. Now after it analyzes you want to go to run cleaner. And you want to run cleaner again. Then you want to go over to your registry. We're going to go to scan for issues to see if we got anything missing in the registry or any unwanted error messages or whatever, whatever causes the computer to slow down in the registry. You want to go to fix selected issues, you want to click no. Go to fix all selected issues, you want to go to close. And the fur no, fourth, we're going to go to as logics disk defrag, it's another good program. And you just click on this little arrow and you want to go to analyze. Then after it gets done analyzing, you want to go to defrag. And and you can turn off your computer after it's done defragging then the next thing we're going to do is disable indexing go to my computer go to where it says local disk C or whatever drive you have XP installed go to properties where it says allow indexing You want to select where it says apply changes to C only. I'm going to show you how I've done it. Then 
we're going to go ahead and close out of there. The next thing we're going to do is go to Start All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and Disk Cleanup. It's going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, after it's done um, scanning through the, your disk drive, well, we're going to go to where it says More Options. You can go right here where it says Installed Programs. You want to go to Clean Up. So, like if you want to remove some unused programs with Add or Remove Programs, like stuff that you never hardly use on your computer like bloatware trialware or a certain web browser like let's say for example I use Firefox and I don't want to use Chrome no more you want to go ahead and you want to remove um, just follow the installation prompts that come up when you're uninstalling a program. And now we're going to go to where it says System Restore. You want to go to where Clean Up. We're going to get rid of all of the restore points if we don't hardly use system restore and windows components we we'll go right there and cl the cl under cleanup and this is going a windows xp box is going to set come up and you can remove like all the components that you don't hardly use and we'll go to details let's say we're going to remove the internet games and go to click OK whatever you remove under components you could just click that little checkbox and uncheck it you can even remove Internet Explorer or Windows Media Player or Outlook Express let's go and remove Outlook Express we're going to next let's go to delete all of the files that are on the system we can go ahead and close out of that to disable unwanted items in startup we can go to start run ms config I don't know why I had a clock on we're going to go to where it says startup you can just move this little thing on the bit to the side to see what programs. And just uncheck the ones like you don't want at startup. And just click apply. We're gonna go to close. We can go ahead and exit without restart when a box come up like this. Just place that little checkbox to say don't show at startup whenever you reboot the computer so. That was my quick little video on how to make your Windows XP faster. So I hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching.